In this video, we'll be introducing, spending a little bit of time with the z-score and exercise 13. So we're starting with the standardized normal curve. So we've done looked at that in a previous lesson. It is created from an actual distribution where the mean is mu, so 75 or something, and standard deviation is sigma, something like 12 or whatever the number is, by a neat mathematical transformation called the z-score. So that's the z. Remember, this is the raw score. And mu is the mean. Sigma is a standard deviation. Each raw score x gets standardized. So it's going to get shifted left or right and divided by sigma to create the standardized normal curve. So here we have the distribution of raw scores with mean 78, sigma 6.1. And we're going to take each of these and we're going to shift it over by by the mean. So if the mean starts out 78 here, we're going to shift it all the way down to zero. Because we're going to subtract the mean from each of these x squares. That might take a minute to think about. And that's what you'll end up with. So you'll end up with a standardized normal distribution and we know that the red areas are a total of 68%, 34.13% each. The blue areas are 13.59 and so on. And we'll see how to calculate these in uh, the near future. So the z-score definition, learn this by heart, tells us how many standard deviations a particular raw score is from the mean and whether it's above or below the mean. When we look up the z-score in a table of values, we can place one particular raw score in relation to other raw scores in the distribution. So basically we have this particular score, sorry, this particular score, and we can figure out where is it in relation to the others. Okay, pull out exercise 13. You might want to pause the video just for a second. And we're going to do a practice with it. John gets 44 in a test, wants to know how his mark compares to marks of other students. All he knows is the distribution is normal, with mean equals 29.96, and sigma is 8.977. So he knows he did better, but how much better did he do than the rest of the class? First question. Plot x equals 44 on a normal curve. Where is the normal curve? There it is. Okay, so we're going to take 44 and we're going to plot it somewhere here. Now, given that we know, right, there's three standard deviations here, right? So this is going to be 329.96 times plus, sorry, 3 times 8.977. That's going to be three standard deviations above, right? That's one, two, sorry, two would be about here. Okay, so we're estimating that 44 goes here. It might be further over here, but we're just estimating right now. We know it's to the right of the mean because these values are all going to be like 22. Down here is going to be somewhere, uh, hopefully zeros over here. So we're going to calculate the z-score now. Just calculate the exact value for z so we can get a much more precise uh, placing of 44 onto the distribution. z is x minus mu over sigma. So mu was 20, 20 oh there it is right here, right? 29.96, sigma is 8.977 x is 44, we end up with 1.564, which places us about right here. So a little bit to the right of where we were last time. And remember, this was 29.96. So this is the z, and here is the original x. Now, shade this value. So we know this is... 1.564. We're going to shade x is less than 44. So we're going to shade in this area, but we're also shading all of this. And remember, we know that this is 50%. 
because this is a symmetrical distribution with mu dividing the 100% of the area into two equal pieces. So we got 50% here, 50%. All of this here is 50%. So we're going to shade all the way. You can imagine shading all of this. Okay. Now we're going to calculate the value for x. Probability of x is less than 44. So we know that z equals 1.564. That represents, this is from x equals 44. So we look up z equals 1.564 in the z table. Now we know it's here. We know we're looking for this area plus, I'm just going to change the color here, plus this area. And we know this area is 50%, but we don't know this area. And this table that I've given you in the back of your booklets helps you find this area between mean and 1.564 standard deviations above the mean. All right, take a look at what we look for. We got 1.5, 1.56. We don't have 564. We don't have the precision of three decimal places, so we round it to the two. Okay, so 1.56 gives us 0 0.4406. So that means that this area is 44.06% of the total area, which means now we're going to calculate. So this is this was question, sorry. Yeah. From question 2A we have 1.564 as the z score. And now we add the two areas together. So 50% plus 44.06% gives us a total of 94.06. So that means John is in the 94th percentile. If the normal distribution is an appropriate one for that class. So we start off with a model distribution and that model must be good for this to be effective. But what we're focusing on here is the technique. So don't worry about the theory too much or the questions that I'm raising about it uh, or the modeling. The practical thing is to learn how to do these calculations because then you're getting an understanding of these areas and of the normal distribution. Okay. So now you can practice, uh, you have these answers in the booklet. So this is an explanation of how these answers came about. And then for each of the questions, 1, A, 1, 2, 3, 4, you've covered A, and you've got B, C, and D to do. Good luck.